Ashley, thank you very much. Well, an arrest tonight in a shooting that left three people dead and one person injured in Broad Ripple over the summer. News 8's Adam Pinsker joining us live in studio with how police were able to find the suspect. Adam. You feel a lot of surveillance video. They used hours of surveillance footage from businesses, body camera and cell phone video, along with social media posts. That led them to Hines who was arrested earlier today on the north side. According to probable cause documents, Hines fired several shots after someone hit her on the back of her head. On June 25th, around 2 a.m., IMPD officers found themselves responding to a chaotic scene on Guilford Avenue. You had a situation that occurred in Broad Ripple very late in the evening, uh, densely populated area, a number of individuals there. There was a lot of drinking going on, and you cannot ignore the fact that there were way too many people who were armed that night. According to probable cause documents, a witness told police that 24-year-old Kara Hines was heard saying, I don't give an F. I'm about to shoot everywhere. At some point in time, it is alleged that uh, it became violent in the sense that uh, there was a punch thrown. And from that single punch being thrown, uh, we end up with multiple shots being fired from multiple firearms. Hines is charged with two counts of murder, one count of reckless homicide, two counts of battery, and a count of criminal recklessness. Christopher Wilson, Ty Wayne Henning, and Kalia Preer were all killed in the shooting. Witnesses told police they saw Hines putting a gun in her pocket and running from the scene. Police also used ballistic evidence found at the scene to link Hines to the crime. IMPD Deputy Chief Kendall Adams says the entire situation could have been avoided. Someone gets punched and then we have gunfire. That's a problem. There, there are uh, dozens of police there that... Um, they could have sought help from to say, hey, I was just punched. Can you help me identify the suspect? Hines was booked into the Marion County Jail on no bond. An initial hearing has been set for October 10th at 1.15 p.m. Adam Pinsker, Wish TV, wishtv.com, and like us on Facebook.